In this video, we are going to demonstrate StyleCAD's integration with Browseware's 3D program, vStitcher. StyleCAD provides 3D-related tools, such as the stitching and arrangement tools, and the ability to load directly to vStitcher. Interactive modification of 2D patterns and refreshing of 3D garments is also supported. To begin, we select which patterns in the style file we're going to send to 3D for simulation. You can choose which pieces will be excluded and included by using the right-click menu commands, exclude selected patterns from 3D, and include selected patterns in 3D. Stitching darts in 3D can be rather tricky. With StyleCAD, you can designate a dart as a 3D dart object so that vStitcher can easily handle it during simulation. In order to designate a 3D dart, we use the internal line 3D property tool. Using the D quick step for dart, we select the dart shape. The internal lines will turn green, indicating that it is now a 3D dart object. Next, we will demonstrate how easy it is to stitch the patterns together. We select the 3D stitching tool. Notice how all the mirror patterns are automatically unfolded and the pair sides also appear. In order to stitch two matching sides, we just click each side in sequence. If the pattern is a pair or a mirrored pattern, the other side stitching is automatically done. Here is an example where two sections are stitched onto a single section. We select all three sections and then drag from the multiple section side to the single section side. The single section is proportionately divided to match the multiple sections. By moving the cursor over the stitch symbol, we can view the stitching lines. Here we stitched the front armhole section made up of three separate sections to the sleeve pattern. We select all four sections and then drag from the shoulder point to the sleeve cap point. Now we stitch the collar to the necklines. In order to reverse the stitching direction for the collar, we right click on the stitch symbol to bring up the menu. Now that we are done with the stitching, let's load the style into vStitcher. We check the stitching view in vStitcher and see that all the stitching is already defined. Notice that all the patterns are laid down at the bottom in vStitcher. So let's define the pattern arrangement in StyleCAD using the arrangement tool. Right clicking on the workspace brings up the menu where we can select an arrangement cluster. Here we select front torso. Notice the quick step FT appears next to the cursor. We simply drag a box around the front pieces and the assignment is done. For the back torso, we type in VT quick step and drag around the back pieces. We continue with the sleeves and cuffs. We will place the hem ruffle on the front skirt and back skirt clusters. And the collar on the front shoulder cluster. Now that we are done with arranging, we press the load button again and see that all the pieces are in the right clusters. Let's adjust the pattern position within each cluster in StyleCAD. We can move each pattern individually within the box Remove the blue dot which represents the center of the cluster in order to shift all the patterns within the cluster. Now we are ready to dress the garment. This style has been graded into five sizes. When we load the style to 3D, all the grading data loads as well. Let's take a look at how size small looks on the avatar.
This time, let's choose extra small. We can check the fit using the tension and pressure maps. And by changing avatar poses. Now we demonstrate how easily we can modify the patterns and dynamically update the 3D virtual sample. Let's shorten the sleeve length. We press the load button to refresh and then we simulate. Here we can see the sleeve is shortened in 3D. Next, let's try lengthening the bottom by 3 inches. As shown in this video, StyleCAD makes it easy for you to simulate 2D patterns in 3D. Not only can you conveniently update your 2D modifications in 3D, but since all the work you've done in 3D can be saved in StyleCAD, it is easy to continue working from where you left off.